This is all new this morning. Have you ever been forced to walk in the street in Buffalo because of cracked, uneven, even potentially dangerous sidewalks? Yeah, as 7 Eyewitness News reporter Madison Carter explains, there's a new push to upgrade some of these walkways. I am pleased uh, that one of the uh, biggest complaints that we get at our offices are sidewalks and overlays. Common Council Majority Leader David Rivera is taking us through areas of Buffalo's west side. If you go down Bird Avenue, you can see there's a stretch of Bird Avenue. We're replacing sidewalks that have been cracked, shattered, or lifted up because of trees. Rivera has pushed for years to make this area more walkable. Not only that, but also accessible by putting in ADA compliant ramps on street corners. The city actually came in under budget this year for street infrastructure work. The city puts uh, all of its projects out to bid, and I guess they got a good deal on the bids. More work, and less money. That extra money combined with the warm temperature this season is allowing crews to get even more work done on sidewalks and roads. Some of the sidewalks have just come up and cracked so badly that it's not unusual to see people over here walking in the street sometimes. But when you talk to neighbors, their reactions are a little different than one might expect. Jim has lived on Bird Avenue since 61. I guess I just got used to him because I've been walking up and down these streets for over 50 years. Howard Hurd moved to the street more than a decade ago. Do you like ever have complaints about the streets or anything or are you just kind of? No, uh-uh. No. Jim says he and other neighbors noticed the sidewalk issues, but a call to 311 gets it taken care of sooner or later. He says neighbors in the block club are happy about the development they're seeing in and around the neighborhood. They start seeing new sidewalks, curbs, lighting, infrastructure, overlay. Yeah. Uh, it brings up a lot of enthusiasm. Sometimes you get people to reinvest in their own properties. On the west side, Madison Carter, 7 Eyewitness News.